dawn of days was Virtha, the power that creates. Where nothing had reigned supreme, Virtha gave life to all, shaped here and there, spawned now and then, formed the one and encouraged the other. And where attraction arose, the wild thrived and multiplied. But out of the untamed, Vilda appeared, the power that rules. The power of willful violence that bends here and there, that curves now and then according to ideals and cravings, that harvests the one and rejects the other. With time, Wilda's appetite grew, and the birth was inevitable. Because violence begets, hate begets, Vratha, the power that reacts. Born of Wilda's hunger for Virtha's design, Vratha is everywhere and nowhere. Always close where mother meets mother. Always mounting in strength with the force of the violence. The arrival of the black fruit is faded, as inescapable as terrible. And it happens, has happened, will happen again, that Vratha grows boundless, furious, blind in her hunger. It happens that the blackness grows flesh and spirit and the sharpest of claws. That the fruit sheds seeds that poison the first in the aim to suppress the second, then die.